Hello everybody, I'm Urban Fox Gamer and today I'll be showing you a 3DS Max tutorial on how to create a low poly hand suitable for video games. Um, I'm sorry if um, I'm stuttering and you can hear noises. This is my first time and I'm using a crappy phone and I'm not living in a very quiet neighborhood so deal with it so let's start by pressing alt w for full screen then let's go here standard primitives get a box rectangle boom that's a hand not a very stupid hand so let's add more detail so right click convert to poly like so selection edge selection select those edges then connect as you can see, this is where you, the thumb will go and this will be the fingers. Well, in my opinion, when extruding the thumb, I, you don't extrude here because it looks weird for me. But because look, look at your relaxed hand, it doesn't, the thumb doesn't go here and it goes here. So, to show you even further, let's chamfer this. Chamfer, then like so. You can see now, even though I just did that, it looks like a hand. Let's just do it like this, like this, and like, um, probably like this. And a bit like this. I'm just duplicating this so I can finalize is this as the very lowest of low of hands. I'm just grabbing this so it's triangulated properly. Lower this for the fingers. Fingers. So uh, as you can see, this particular model is very good in RTS games or anything that is very far from the camera or um, we call it very very not important characters like crowds or like racing games if you notice people tend to, to like focus on the racetrack on and not at the people so you don't want to like add detail to that now let's move on. Um, something more detailed. Well, a, well, a little bit. So let's add the thumb. Thumb, thumb, thumb. Keep on mispronouncing the thumb or having a hard time pronouncing it. But oh well, that's just me. Just select. Well, just select this one. Control backspace to delete that edge. That will delete the edge plus the vertices. Uh, if you press backspace only that will just delete the edge well ju I just select that poly uh, polygon or face extrude boom there goes the thumb scale it down words rotate it like so I, ro I am I am rotating with this gray circle which is uh, rotating at at that um, what do you call it Rotating on the screen relative to the screen. There you go. That's the word. And same goes with the move uh, move thingy tool. I, I forgot <laughs> the, the yellow box. Okay. Just eyeball it so um, it's more natural because um, because if it it's so perfect, uh, it doesn't look that much weird depends well it depends on what you want though so this is another model you can see it's now a hand um, hand model let's let's post it up boosty boost see that's more boosted let's move like so like so Wait, let me 
do it like this first. Okay. Um, as you can see, you can just move it like so. This will be the index. This will be the pinky. The pinky is smaller but than the index. So there you go. Select those edges. Rotate. And put it down. Probably scale it that way. And I think this needs to go down a little bit like so. Um, to add more depth for um, to the hand, move this upwards. And by the way, if you manage to like have this edge, or uh, look at your hand and make it like a fist, you can see that it's kind of curved. So, or just spread your hands and you can see it's curvy. Look at your hand. Look at it. It's beautiful. <laughs> um, never mind that joke. Um, let's go to the other one. That's other hand for like um, a little bit higher, higher importance. Uh, let's make another version of this one. A little bit more bendy. Probably this is kind of like um, GTA, the old GTA. So let's do it like that. Curve, curve, uh, rotate those edges. Grab all these polygons, rotate, and to s rotate the camera to see everything, and just just rotate it. Rotate, rotate. There you go. Let's fix this. This is a little bit um, too much. Too much, man. So there you go. As you can see, um, this more decent looking that than this one it has more curves. You can now uh, use an bones to like um, make this bend properly. Because you can, yeah, you can bend also this one, but that not that much. It will have like a weird deformities. And by the way, forget about this one. You have to fix the triangulation. So that one, and even this one, you have, we have to fix this. There you go. Okay, that's three versions of the hands. Um, let's make it a little bit higher than before. Now this one, this particular style of modeling is, I found it um, in a game called CSGO and Counter-Strike Source, I, uh, I think, because the fingers there are like, the index will be at the, at the trigger and the Three other fingers near that is like clumped together group so we're gonna build like a hand like that see the curve the curve part select those get a settings of the extrude change the change the group to polygon just do that just check green check or just apply then scale it downwards uh, scale it uniformly then downwards and just go, mm, pull it down with it rotate it like so oh yeah, there is some proportion wrong proportion thingies um, if you look at your hand this would start probably one third of a, at one third away of the thumb see there's like one third of it like so but let's move it well it depends on you on how do you want your hand to look like but yeah that's my proportion guide so let's just pull this one here so it looks like um, the middle finger there you go has this bump so 
well in my hand it has this bump particular bump I don't know in your hands if you have that kind of bump so that's one kind of uh, hand for for that and oh great forgot to duplicate let me remove these hands uh, there's an other version of uh, of a hand the last one let me return it back to uh, almost the previous one like so without the fingers yet so it's like this um, like so grab these edges then connect as you can see we have now four four fingers besides this one clamp one by the way, um, the more detail you must have, that means it, it's, it is, um, what do you call it? It is near the camera or it, it is, it's either near the camera or it is important to the player to see. Well, that's my general guide or general rule, I mean, when it comes to like the more detail probably the more detailed the the closer it is to the camera and of course hardware limitations by the way you need to add those because you don't want like a high poly hand super high poly like bazillions of polygons for like for that game like a hand simulator or whatever game that you plan to do and just don't don't like add too much polygons if like it's a mobile game because I know mobiles are powerful enough to like play GTA San Andreas and stuff but it's still a mobile game it's not, not that powerful enough yet but so going back uh, I've extruded by, by polygon and not by group each each polygon so you can see it's banana hands banana hands what oh cool even the default color is yellow um, well you just select this one wait let me turn on that one okay F2 by the way is toggling the select faces and let's move it backwards now it depends on on your preference on which will be longer if the index one or the ring finger but for me it's gonna be uh, the, the ring finger will be longer so deselect that thingy move it backwards but not that much now deselect the index and move it a little bit further away from from that now let's make it smaller 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 than this well like I said before just look at your fingers as reference or grab a picture from the internet it works but best reference is your own hands so just I just move this edge to make make it look sharper I, I mean oops it's got you can um, you want you're gonna be um, you, you want it's be like this if you want or like this uh, well it's, it's still up to you on what what you want for your fingers though so yeah, it's in very in a very relaxed position. As you can see, relaxed hands. By the way, consider on how many bones does your hand rig has, because you don't want to like add more polygons, unnecessary polygons to it. So um, we select this one. Let's just say we have bones. A lot of full full blown bones for the hands so click connect those well it's still up to you on what you want though so let's select those and just grab those and just move it like so and just rotate uh, as you can see we have now how many six types of fingers if you want, you can boost this very bad polygon or whatever. Make it curvy for the sake of it. Like 
Yes, so well it's still up to you on what hands you want to use. If you want like the sim-ish kinds of hands. Oh wait, let's make it like this one without the thingy. Okay, there you go. We have made seven I think one, one two three seven kinds of hands with the curve thingy on each one. So that's pretty much it. This here is for lower lower polygon um, this um, the general rule is um, on detail is if it's important go go lean towards this and if it's not just use uh, less polygons so that's pretty much it I hope you like the video please like subscribe